everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. You know what, Brad? Uh, when you guys see the table behind me, you'll probably understand this, but if you guys did not see, yesterday I didn't upload, and I think also, what was it, Sunday, maybe? Maybe, which is like, I can't remember the last time I didn't upload twice in one week. That seems like, you know, that doesn't even fathom in my brain correctly, but I want to jump on back here today. I got a lot of stuff to do today, as you guys can see in the back back here. Jesus Christ, at the mess. I'll definitely go over the mess with you guys. But beings that we did not upload yesterday and you know everything's kind of hectic right now around here as far as the arena as you guys can see We finally transitioned it out of the other room So I finally got all of that settled yesterday, which is why I did not upload I'll show you guys the update on that over here, man It's absolutely it's dreadful kind of got a lot of stuff to do, but we'll get it all figured out But anyways guys today I wanted to dive into my top five things that I love about WWE action figure collecting You know what I love overall about it, you know what keeps me going Going in it and why I enjoy it so much and just kind of connect with you guys and you guys can give me your feedback as well what you like what you don't like whatever the case is and if you guys would like to know the five things I dislike or don't like about it let me know down below but today guys I want to show you this right quick and then we'll dive into my top five favorite things about WWE action figure collecting and everything about it so let's get into this mess shall we I don't want to Brad So if you guys look at this, I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. We got like three rings over here. We got the crowd backdrop. We got a huge mess. V, I mean, the, the table. The table for the arena that we're trying to work on is absolutely atrocious right now. So I'm in the process of setting that all up. So I'm going to have to pretty much take a lot of this stuff, move it over here, and then go back over there to fix it. But you guys can see this is my floor mat for the arena. You got the backdrop over there. You got the ring. This is the, the Elimination Chamber playset, like the newer one. You got like a bunch of figures. You got just a bunch of garbage over here that I got to get settled and figure out. But this is the reason why I didn't upload yesterday is because I was busy getting all of this ish out of the other arena room, which is now the dining room again. So that's really good. We just got to get all this cleaned up now. So it's kind of a two-step process there. But we did get that set up, which is a huge blessing. Now, you'll also notice that I got my mock TNT champion Cody, which is absolutely delicious right there. So we got the AEW mock collection still up there. That's probably going to stay there again again until we get to the big show so when the big show gets here we will get that not Paul White but the the, the My Damn Nation but anyways guys just want to update you guys on this arena and what I'm in the process of doing so let's shut the hell up and get into this top five should we shall we jackass what the hell are you saying all right guys let's start off with number five and again these aren't really in any particular order maybe number one number one may be in a particular order or whatever but starting out with number five guys I'm gonna go with toy hunting you know going on a good old toy hunt now I'm not talking about online toy hunting which is excellent nowadays you know you, you need a figure that badly you can literally go on the internet and grab it which brings in scalpers and all of that ish but I don't think anything really beats the feeling of walking into a store and finding something on the shelf you know what I'm saying you know what I'm talking about if you've ever if you've been a figure collector for a long time or just even if you first get into it I feel like the excitement level may be the most when you first get into it but when you walk into the store you've been looking for something for a very long time you look up there and bam there it is on the shelf of course like your excitement levels through the roof like, dude, it, it is a great feeling. So, you know, you've been searching and searching for that figure. You look up there, there it is. It's like the heavens, you know, open up and it's like, ah, and bam, you find it, holy grail, right there. When you find that figure that you're really, really looking for, man, nothing can really compare to that. I mean, there's a few things that are better than that, obviously, in the world, but, dude, that is a great feeling, let's be honest. Coming in number four, guys, I'm going to go with customization. Now, I'm not talking about fixing up and switching parts and stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, actually painting, you know, taking a figure, painting it up making a different attire, seeing all this crazy stuff that people can do with like sculpting and painting and BW. Oh, I mean, dude, the, the list of customizers is unlimited, honestly, but uh, just seeing people that can take stuff, mold it, sculpt it, paint it, turn it into something else is absolutely incredible. I cannot, you know, it's, it's hard to even fathom. It's definitely one of the things I love most about WWE figure collecting is the customization aspect of just painting a figure and, and changing it up and making an attire you saw on TV and all that good stuff. Absolutely epic or just fantasy gears man all that stuff is insane coming to number three guys i'm gonna go with the creation and the creativity aspect so you're probably thinking what the hell does that mean it's like it's the pick fed stuff right it's the people who do the photography and the stop motion and the pick fed pay-per-views and the sets and the building and just all that creation stuff where it's like all your ideas booked into a show and just 
all the things that have to do with a pig fed and like making those things take place and anybody who ever has produced a show or made a show like that using the figures I mean dude that's got to be that's just so excellent it's it's hard to believe that that's number three really but I mean it, again they're not necessarily a particular order but it's insane when you work on something that long and you really put all your heart and soul into it and then you know you see it come to fruition it's truly beautiful and just seeing everybody's ideas come to life in figure form man nothing really compares to that it's really excellent I absolutely love it so I had to uh, definitely include that in my top five coming in at number two guys I'm going to go with fixing up now this actually pains me a little bit because I feel like it's been forever since we've done surgery now that's that's definitely got to change I'll try to get a sir we may be able to do some surgery tomorrow I don't know we'll play around with that see what we can get going but I definitely want to get some surgery in here action figure surgery is so freaking fun it's the best it's it's just one of my favorite series on the channel just taking and switching part now I'm not talking about painting I'm talking about where you take a figure and you change a part here there fix it up, you know, put a bunch of random parts together and make a brand new figure and make it look complete and brand new and something that, you know, is completely different. It looks kind of fantasy gear-like. You switch some boots on this attire. You switch some arms here and there. You Frankenstein effort it together. It can turn into a magical creation, which is something that I have to absolutely include in my top five. I know that I usually have that at number one, but I think there's something else that makes it number one, which I'll also get into. But dude, just switching parts and stuff while it destroys my fingers and we've had such a long break from the action figure surgeries that it's probably going to be awful for my hands when we get back into that because my fingers are going to be wanting to fall off. But, you know, that's what happens, Brad. If you're not constantly on the grind, you're going to pay the time. I don't know what I just said. Anyways, guys, that is going to take us into number one, which is my all-time favorite thing about WWE figure collecting, and it is going to be you guys. And what I mean by that is, like, the community, man, the absolute community of us all together, like, that creates us, you know, the, the people that are constantly, you know, just the Facebook groups and the, and the people on IG and the YouTubers and the YouTube community and the people that watch the channels and comment and subscribe and the My Damn Toys fans and all the other fans and everybody who watches and everybody who loves WWE and wrestling and wrestling figures and collecting in general, just action figures, everything, man. Love all you guys to death. You guys are the absolute best. All the comments, all the stories that you guys leave, all the, all the love and support that you guys show, you guys are absolutely number one. And so I had to definitely put you guys at number one. So see, number one makes a lot of sense. And I think that you guys are absolutely number one on the list. So I had to absolutely put that. So I could not put you guys at number one, right? Had to do it. No doubts about it. But that pretty much does it for my top five things that I love about WWE action figure collecting and the hobby and everything about it, man. If you guys would like to see my top five things I don't like, please let me know. But I have to get into this massive mound behind me right here, and I don't honestly look forward to it, but you gotta get, you gotta do what you gotta do, Brad. You gotta keep, you gotta, you just gotta knock it out, bro. It's the only way I could sit here and rot and fart in holes and smell it, but that's not gonna get us anywhere, is it, Brad? You gotta get the hell up. You gotta, you gotta get through it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. We haven't done a random shout-out in a few days, which I also apologize for. Again, it's been going crazy around here. So let's go ahead and get into our random shout out, shall we? And today's shout out, guys, is going to go to Script Boy, who says, I'd buy it for $60 to $70. Was only able to find Moxley in store. Would like to get a hold of the other. So I guess he's referring to the AEW four pack that had Jericho, MJF, Kenny Omega, and Moxley in it. And I think that's a pretty good point. I doubt it goes for $60, $70. I feel like it'll at least be $84, possibly $99, $99. Hopefully that's not the case. I would love to see it go lower, but uh, let's just try to be realistic. You know what I'm saying, Brad? But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think of my list down in the comment section below. Do you guys agree? Do you not agree? Just just let me know down in the comment section below. But a huge shout out to Script Boy for that. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and uh, <laughs> don't cross the line like me for not uploading yesterday and that other day. It's unexcusable. Unexcusable. Cross the line.